Hey yo, it's Guido coming at you with a Tactics Talk. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, I got a subscriber platoon. I got Bonzi Duck with me here. We're both driving our 705s, our Object 705s, Tier 9 Russian heavy tanks in a favorable setup, minus the Artie, of course, at a 510 setup. And there's only one Artie. You know, I was just messing around this morning. It's Friday morning. I got the day off. Thought I'd do some tanks, maybe finish up a little bit of the Progetto mission. I'll get to 70%, I think. Maybe buy the thing, that'll be all right, because I'll get a lot of money off on it, so that was a pretty good deal. So I'm sitting around playing some tanks, and I get the message from Bonds. He's like, hey, do you want a platoon? I don't think I'd platooned with it before. If I have, it's only been maybe once or twice. I said, yeah, sure, man, let's do that. So we get to chatting. Nice guy, man. So it was good meeting one of the subscribers out there. Bonzi sends in a lot of quality replays for me to take a look at. And we were chatting, going along, playing a couple of games. I think we went three and two, maybe three and one. Had a bad one or two, but had a... Two or three pretty good ones. It was enjoyable. And as we're chatting, he says, Hey, Guido, you know, seems like you're a little salty lately on your videos. And I got to thinking, you know what? That's a valid criticism. Because I have been salty on my videos. And it was a good point. And I don't think anybody really... Well, maybe some people <laughs> some people may tune in to hear salt. I don't know. Maybe that's somebody, some people's uh, bag, baby, I guess. But it's a valid criticism. I'm thinking to myself right now, you know, I'm, you know, it's just a game. It's a game about tanks driving around. You've done pretty good in the game. You got all the tier tens unlocked. You know, all these things that you've done in the game. Blah blah blah. Why be angry about it all the time? And I try not to, but clearly that has come through on the video. So valid criticism, Bonzi. I appreciate that actually. So once we got finished, I said, you know what? I should do a subscriber platoon video and let's talk about some tanks because that's what I think everyone is here to talk about is how do you play this game? How do you get better? What are some of the strats and techniques and all that kind of thing? So then we started talking about, which was a great discussion, and my dog's over there flailing with, with the bone. A great discussion because he said, you know, Guido, you see things that I don't see. And I said, yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of those things you've got to cultivate and develop where you are paying attention to what's going on currently and thinking about what's going to go on in the near future and maybe even try to project it into towards the end of the game. And it's going to depend on where you are in the game. Right now, I couldn't tell you what's going to happen in this game, although I could tell you a lot about what's happening right now. If you take a look at it, we've got the object, the Emil, Bonzi and myself and a defender and a T-55A. We have a good heavy force headed down to the heavy brawling area on the west side. If you look at the east side, You've got a couple of their mediums that have pushed up. We've got one of our mediums trapped and it looks like our scout. But you've got three TDs sitting on the TD line over there on the 8-9 line. Now, as long as those guys hold out, we don't have a lot to worry about being flanked. And in any event, that flanking maneuver on this particular map on the east side is very slow. Even if there's not much opposition, it just takes some time. So for the immediate future, our world is over here on the west. We don't have to worry too much. The other nice thing I know about what's going on right now is... It doesn't look like they've invested heavily and taken the Abbey. And that's important if you're going to be aggressive like we're planning on doing up here. And that's the other part of what I know. As I'm looking at this and I'm looking at their setup, they've got a couple heavy tanks, a T-10, the 4502, and some other Tier 8s in their heavy tanks. I expect we're probably going to meet those guys. It's possible one or two went over on the 8-9 line. That's unusual. They haven't been lit, so they're not pushing hard over there. I don't have to worry about being shot in the side from the Abbey right now. You'll notice that the Type 59 has taken it, or at least proved that there's nobody sitting there to shoot me in the side. So our world is here. All right, so I didn't come in towards the side, the right side, about as much as I should have. I didn't really leave Bonzi room right here. And at this point, he goes, all right, we're in echelon. That's why I zoomed out and looked at it. And I said, okay, fantastic. You and I are in echelon. A little bit of angle here. This is a rear turreted tank, so you have to push out a little more than usual, but it's not too bad. On my review, I talked about that. It's sort of a mid-rear mounted turret, so it's not as uncomfortable as, say, a 4502 for fighting. So we're able to just kind of hang out in echelon. I'm talking about, all right, Bonji, let's use this IS-6 as a little extra armor. And I'm going to come in here, and I actually bounce off the T-32. Interestingly, I was going for his lower plate, but as he lifted up his angle, or that weird angle there, it looks like it was just more angled and I end up bouncing. So we'll come in here, see if we can get rid of him. And we're talking, right? So we're a platoon, we're in team speak, 
So clearly you have to have some kind of voice comms if you're going to do things like this. And I'm talking about right here, as I'm talking to Bonzi, I'm saying, hey, I'm going to shield myself from this 252U with this rock, and I'm going to come in here and take out the T10. Why? Because it's a clearer shot. If I go after the 252, I give the T10 complete side shots. If I go down on the right side of the road and go after the T10, I give the T252 even better side shots. And the T10 is lower hit points. So with a double tap from the two of us, or maybe one of our buddies back here, we can take this guy out. One other thing I want to talk about that Bonzi and I ran into quite a bit on this little session is I would opt, we would both often get a couple of their guys kind of following. So they're going to see a good player, or maybe they just see an aggressive platoon. And they figure that they're going to go ahead and just get up there and help them out. But be careful on that because what we found multiple times, and I, I find this quite a bit, is people will come in, jam, and get in your way. So notice what I did with Bonzi. That was between two people in a platoon. But it's even worse when there's no comps. Because I bounce into him. I say, dude, sorry, let me maneuver out of the way. He goes, okay, got it. We get an echelon. Problem is I don't have comms with these other guys. So if you're going to go help a platoon, I've mentioned this multiple times, be very careful how you do it. All right, so there we go. That guy's been hit. I'm reloaded, and we take him down. So that's just the discussion between him and I. I thought I was going to be clever and go up and over. This was a mistake, but I'm not reloaded. As I start to get reloaded, I think, all right, he's not going to let me do this. Let me just back up. That's fine. They're going around him, and that's the power of flanking, all right, tactical flanking right around where they are. Take him down. I say, all right, let's get this Oho. Just waiting for him. We'll take him down. And then we had another interesting conversation here about SA and reading the map. Take a look at the map and tell me what the next move is. This one's pretty obvious, but Bonzi was really into the battle. And as soon as we killed this flank, he goes, hey, do we need to go back? And I said, all right, good question. Fantastic question. Sometimes that answer is yes. Probably more often than not, that answer is yes. But take a look at the map, and I think as I pause it and you look at it, you can all look at it and go, all right, it doesn't look like a situation where we have to go back. The 4502, for whatever reason, got stuck down on the south. There's a sturve above. But take a look on the east side. The TDs have actually won that side, and they're filtering down. There's even a guy looking in the middle. There's a Type 59. So we have gained almost complete map control on three force or we have gained three force maybe even four fifths of the map and we know exactly where the rest of these guys are so no reason to go back on this one and it is also clean up on aisle two time because they just have so few guns there's no way they're coming back from this and we're going to go get some more hit points and damage i've got 2400 2000 assisted I didn't talk about it, but you'll notice that I ended up shooting into the tracks of a couple guys in there as they were trying to get away, so that's by design. If you can get a shot that can track and damage, go ahead and take it. This Sturv gets wiped out. The 103, and this, my tank's just too slow to quite get up there. I was really hoping I could get up and get a shot. So I'm going to take not as zoomed shots here because I know that everyone is shooting, and if you're going to get your hit points in here, it's no time to be super zoom guy or super careful I thought maybe that JT was going to be something I could get but that's he's over on the other side he's pushed around looks like he's just running and trying to get some kind of damage and I get I am and that's where I complained to, to Bonzi I'm like alright all these tanks out here you're going to shoot me one of the heaviest armored guys out here but there you have it no big deal he goes down I get 5 kills 3,000 damage 2,000 assist ends up being a pretty good game there as a platoon, we do a nice job of pushing through. And that's just some examples of things I'm thinking about and a little bit about platoon tactics on things that you can do, especially if you have comms on there. And then some end game thoughts on what you want to do end game, knowing how to go back and when to continue to push. Now, this one was a pretty obvious example, but it's instructive, I think, because he asked the question. He, he's got the right attitude, right? He's like, all right, I want my flank. Where are we going next? Do we need to go back? And then I said, hey, let's just take a look at it. What, what's it look like? And he's like, yeah, let's, let's keep on pushing. I'm like, yep, fantastic. That is exactly what we need to do on this case. All right, guys. Hope you like what you saw. Hope you learned something. Bonzi, thanks for the attitude check. I do appreciate that. I will attempt to stop going so negative on things because that's kind of boring anyway. And we're just here to shoot some tanks and drive around and enjoy ourselves. So let's try to get better at it. If you've got any videos, videos. If you've got any replays that you want me to make videos of, Good games, bad games, games you have a question about what you should have done or not done. 
uh, send them in and I will go ahead and do that analysis or just feature the, the game if it's a fantastic one. And as always, we will see you.